Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's afternoon today, it's Monday afternoon and we are going to cook a iskabeche. So it's a Filipino dish and it's... Um, I love this one, this is my one of my favorites. So these are the ingredients guys, we already fried the fish. It's the name of this fish? <laughs> I forgot, I don't know what's the name of this fish. So it's already fried and then we have data puti cooking oil that of the means a soy sauce and then a sugar and then we have a cornstarch that already mixed in the water uh, the purpose of that one it may make the soups uh, sticky you know and then garlic and onions then we have also carrots ginger and red bell pepper the ginger, it's uh, it's good because it's when the food is done, I mean, I mean the dish is done. It tastes like a, uh, you know, a kind of hot and a little bit spicy on it. I like the taste of the ginger. So we're gonna start it in a few minutes while the wok is in the the uh, the stove. We call it stove where we cook it. Okay guys, so we'll move in there. Oh god. Guys, I forgot to tell about the soy sauce also, the vinegar. I mean the soy sauce, sorry. The vinegar and also the black pepper and the salt. So that's another ingredient. That's additional ingredients, by the way, sorry. So let's start it. So I'm heating the pan now. I'm in the wood. So... I'm gonna put the cooking oil in a few minutes. So I'm gonna put the cooking oil now. It's done. Okay, guys. Next is the onion and garlic. Just keep. Then the garlic. The next is the ginger, so we want that in there, guys, because so the the juice of the ginger will, you know, enhance the flavor of the cabbage. Guys, it's the red bell, so we're gonna put in the last time the carrots because the carrots is actually softening, you know. And after that, we'll put water. the water and let it sim uh, let it simmer guys for maybe one to two minutes and then we will put the cover in it guys it's been simmer now we're gonna put the the combination of sugar soy sauce and vinegar okay and we will put a little bit of a uh, little bit of water because it's not that much in there seasoning guys the salt and the pepper the pepper so now we're going to put the carrots and also the fish so we will put it together because so we can taste the fish in there we will soak the fish now the fish is there and then we will soak it for a while and maybe simmer it for maybe one to two minutes and then we will put this cornstarch mixture cornstarch so the soup will be a little bit sticky okay so it's been simmering now guys for one to two minutes and i'm gonna put the additional mixture of the cornstarch as you can see it's kind of sticky in there now so here it is 
it's now cooked guys and i already taste it it tastes good and looks looks very delicious so i just simmer it for maybe one minute and then i'm gonna put that on the plate okay it's finished now guys um i just leave it there in the wok so you know i want it you know it's very soaked i want it soaked very much so it will taste good and um you know because if you leave it there um the taste you know comes out i mean the ingredients you know, like the ginger the red bull pepper so just leave it there guys so thank you that's all for today have a blessed day everyone bye